Let's connect the TP-Link RE650 via smartphone. To do this, you need to install the Tether application uh, by TP-Link. So go to your respective application store and get this application. Make sure that your extender is connected to a power socket close to your rotor in a close proximity up to 16 feet is recommended distance uh, the power indicator uh, must be glowing solid blue and of course the rotor must broadcast wi-fi and be connected to the internet and now let's continue on the smartphone so open the application allow notifications agree to the terms and conditions and on this step you need to log in if you don't have a tp-link id you have to create one uh, let me skip this step for now because this is no harder than registration somewhere somewhere for uh, facebook or amazon so just create account and log in Let's turn on fingerprint login later and two-step verification later as well. And now you are on the main screen of the application. The main screen is named My Devices uh, and I see my rotor in this list because I connected to main network, but I need to connect to the extenders network because I need the extender in the list. So let's go to Wi-Fi settings and here I need TP-Link extender. That's why I need tap on that. Connecting. It's connected, so let's go back to the application wait for a moment here it is re650 if in some reason you don't see your extender here you can tap on the plus icon in the top right corner tap on add a range extender uh, confirm that led is solid on it's on uh, then grant location permission while using the app tap on next here and it just waits nothing to do here wait for connection uh, that's it now you have to create the device password this is not a wi-fi password so far this is the password you will use to manage the extender settings from different browsers and smartphones so let it be simple Tap on the eye icon to see what you type in. Then tap on next once you're ready. And from this list you need to select which network you wish to extend because maybe you have two rotors, so you need to select between them. My rotor's name is my Wi-Fi, so let me extend 2.4 gigahertz network. To do this, I have to enter my uh, current Wi-Fi password. Later, I will use the same password to log in uh, to the extenders network. Now let's extend 5G, net, 5G band. Tap on next. Check if passwords are correct because if they're incorrect the connection will not be established and you will have to repeat this step later. Uh, here you can rename your extender, for example, if you wish to distinguish uh, between different router extenders for different rooms, you can name them bedroom, living room, kitchen and so on. Tap on next and waiting once again. It may take up to two minutes, so here just be patient and also look for uh, look for your LED indicators on the extender. When everything is over, they must start glowing solid blue. Now we see the next screen of the application, but we still don't see the full, full illumination here. We need to see indicators glowing single blue, sorry, solid blue, 
or simple blue, never mind. They must be blue. We don't need other options. That's it. Everything is connected and now you can relocate your extender uh, to your Wi-Fi dead zone, but it must be still in router's Wi-Fi range. And this round indicator will help you with this, because if it's blue, the signal is okay, the signal is strong enough. If the indicator is red, you need to move uh, the extender closer to your router. Uh, when you're okay with the extender's location, tap on next in your application. Uh, then copy password to connect to your network and go to your Wi-Fi settings. Connect to your extended network, EXT. Connect it without password, but you remember the password is the same uh, as for main router just in case you need it let's go back to the application look what's happening here no internet i don't think it's true let's fix it tap on this square everything is working well now from this application you can manage different settings of your extender uh, first of all you can go to this extender extended network menu and uh, disable for example disable 2.4g or 5g network uh, change a password for your extender change extender's name change the type of security and so on also you can go to more tab and here you have really a lot of settings uh, my favorite is operation mode so you can use the extender as an access point connecting it directly with your router using the Ethernet cable. Uh, it gives you significantly uh, faster internet speed because, of course, wired connection is faster. Uh, also, you can create the seamless one mesh uh, connection. So you can connect all your extenders and all your routers into a single unified network and all your gadgets will connect to Wi-Fi for the highest possible speed if your router supports this function i recommend you to use it a lot of more settings that not that are not a focus for today for today we're all set if you have any question comment below uh, thanks for watching hit the like button and be awesome bye guys